in example 10 we are given um, the equation the function of x in terms of hx to be 1 over x and then we are expected to sketch the curve with the equation y is equals to hx plus 1 and state the equations of any asymptotes and intersection with the axis. First of all, we have to talk about y is equals to 1 over x, which is the equation given. And we all know that this one is an equation, is a graph that talks about when x, 1 over x, when x is 0, 1, when x approaches 0, then y approaches a very big positive number. And when x approaches infinity, y, of course, 1 over a, a very big number approaches 0. So it's an equation we have done before. It's a graph that we have done before. And this is the graph of asymptote at the at the x-axis. And this is the graph of y is equals to 1 over x. Now, um, we are, from this one, we are expected to sketch the graph of y is equal to hx plus 1. And let me just put it over here. y is equal to hx plus 1. And ultimately, you can already see that... Uh, you can already see that hx plus 1, there is a plus 1, but it is outside the bracket. There is a plus 1, but it is outside the bracket. So if we talk about, again, Maio, if we go back to the summary of Maio, and let's have it here, very fast, minus 1, 1 over a minus a 1 over a a a and um, they should vote him and that is it you can see what we are expected to show is addition because of this one outside and addition outside means let let's 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 work together addition means translation outside affects the vertical so addition outside is vertical translation of a steps so this one there is addition outside and this indicates that you're going to have vertical translation of a step a steps according to the myo table summary and our a happens to be 1. So this is going to be vertical translation of one step. What does this mean? All y values add 1. It means, therefore, because anything vertical deals with the y values, all y values you add 1. And what does this mean? It is critically supposed to now emerge from the original graph. And one thing which is very clear is that we have an asymptote along the x-axis. And if this asymptote was along the x-axis, it would have been called originally y is equals to 0. The whole of this line is y is equals to 0. So definitely we are going to have um, an asymptote that shifts one step upwards and our new graph looks though it is going to look like that yes this is again y is equals to zero but the asymptote shift to this particular point our asymptote shifts to that particular and this point is now one it's no longer y is equals to zero and this is the line y is equals to one the rest of the points may not really change okay they will change but the change will be insignificant because you don't even realize when infinity changes by one 
it's it's not practically you cannot show it practically so the infinity uh, condition will still be maintained but this time round the asymptote will not be along the line y is equals to zero it will be along the line y is equals to one and that shows clearly that all values of y have been added one each because we are talking about vertical translation of one step and we move the whole graph upwards by one step and that is why you can clearly see that the graph that never crossed the x-axis initially now it is crossing after translating it is now crossing the x-axis and it is now the question we need to answer what are these coordinates we need to show what are those coordinates because the question talks about we have clearly shown the change of asymptote our asymptote is now y is equals to one but we also need to show where the graph cuts the axis of course it doesn't cross the y-axis because the asymptote along the y-axis still hold because this is x is equals to zero and any but the horizontal values are not being interfered with only the vertical so what at what point does our graph cross the x-axis at the point where the graph the graph cuts the y-axis we are simply saying now at that point y is equals to hx plus one at this point because this is the graph of y is equals to hx plus one because these graphs now these graphs both of them are the graph of y is equals to hx plus one so that graph y is equals to hx plus one and what was hx our hx was one over x so hx plus one is one over x plus one 1 over x plus 1 being equated equals to 0 because along the x-axis y is always equals to 0. At this point y is 0 and x is what we are finding now. Now this one is not anything big so we need now to say 1 over x is equals to negative 1 and if you cross multiply we're going to find minus x is equals to 1. If you divide both sides by minus 1 and minus 1, you will realize that x is equals to negative 1. So at this particular point, we have, we, we have the coordinate minus 1, 0. So our graph, our new graph, cuts the x-axis at the point negative 1, 0. And that is just what you're supposed to have shown. So the curve intersects the x-axis at minus 1, 0. And uh, in conclusion, we can also say that the horizontal asymptote is now y is equals to 1. Um, and the vertical asymptote maintains at x is equals to 0, simply because this was vertical translation and no x value is being affected. All right?